I doubt that anybody actually watched that, but in case you did happen to watch that, I just want to explain that that's a program that I wrote, and it's actually pretty awesome, because I started this project where I do the powers of two, and I have this C++ example here. Let me show you what the code looks like in Visual Studio Code. Um, it uses the, you know, the standard input and output. It uses the C style of output with printf and everything, because that's what I'm used to. But it uses the C++ vector container. And vectors are actually cool because it automatically manages this memory. It starts out with a, an empty vector, and then it just creates one element, which is one. And then what it does is, through this loop, it will print what is in the array, um, and then it will double each digit. And if the final carry is one, then it creates a new digit. It pushes back, it pushes to the back of the array, so it extends it. And then, so that means the size increases. That means that the 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 a dot size, the array dot size, basically increases, meaning what it prints increases. And so I learned how to use the std vector from the C++ standard template library. It's actually pretty cool. And technically, I used an int here, but a caror would have worked just as well, just because it it's only single digit values. So it should work the same either way but it's actually just really, really cool, and it works, and that's how I generated that long scrolling list of powers of two. It was too fast for people to see, though, so maybe I'll be able to work on the future on something that's a little bit uh, slower so people can actually see what's happening. 